All right, what's going on dudes and welcome to a new Minecraft snapshot. I think you're gonna like this one. You may be wondering, Jordan, how do you get a new cape? There haven't been any new Minecons recently that I can remember. It's not a new cape, it's actually a new item. It's called the Elytra, you wear it in your chest plate slot, and it's a wingsuit. It allows you to fly. Well, you can't really fly in the sense that you can't end up higher than where you started, but it allows you to glide, and it's super awesome. So the way that you get a hold of this thing is by coming into the end, finding one of the, uh, the big ender cities that has the floating boat thing, and then you go into the uh, the hull of the boat, and you'll find it right in an item frame, right between the chests over here. You can grab it off of that, and then you put it in your chest plate slot, and then you're uh, you're good to go. So why don't we give it a little test, as I'm sure everyone wants to see. We'll go up to the crow's nest here, and uh, we'll fly. So keep in mind, this is survival. This is not, well, this can be used in survival. It's not creative. In fact, we'll go ahead and switch into survival for it, and... Uh, Jump on into the void. Whee! <laughs> How awesome is this? Look at that! This is like the greatest new addition in such a long time. So like I said, you can't end up higher than, uh, than where you started from. It auto-activates after I believe you've fallen three blocks, if I'm not mistaken. And after that, it sort of uh, allows you to level out. But you need a bunch of momentum first, and then boom all the way back down to the ground. Now, it sort of makes sense that you will find it in here because these are like super high up structures and it'll more easily allow you to sort of get between different parts of it, get down to the ground and switch into creative before I die. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, there's no way to get back up um, easily unless you just build back up, but I think it's still super cool. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited about this. Now, you may be wondering, how does it lose durability? It just loses durability based upon how far you've flown with it. So we switch back into survival here. I'll just jump off. Whee! And now if we go into our inventory, you'll notice 408, 407, 406, 405. So it'll last you a little bit of time, nothing too crazy. And then uh, after that, you'll have to go and replenish it. But Still super awesome. I like how you sort of start flailing as you stall. <laughs> it's like, oh no, this is gonna fall. And you can't, I don't think you can actually die of fall damage from it. So it's pretty cool. Unless you jump off something like, I don't know, in the, in the mid range of blocks, in which case you'll probably impact before they can actually deploy. So pretty cool stuff. Now, once you find one of these, you probably wanna be pretty careful not to use it up completely. And it's pretty easy to repair actually. All you need is some leather which I have over here conveniently in this chest. So we can actually put that in with an anvil, grab this off of here, put the leather in, put the elytra in, and there we go. We're all repaired. You can also, if you want, apply Unbreaking 3 to it and an anvil. You can't enchant it, but this is your best bet for making it last a little bit longer. So you can do all that, re-equip it, and uh, you're good to keep on flying a bunch more. So exciting stuff. But that's not the only addition here. Let's go for one more flight and then we'll move on to, ooh, shimmery wings. Those are pretty cool. Whee! <laughs> so awesome. I love this. This is such a cool addition. Um, it's kind of like hang gliders, I guess. So yeah, all right. It looks way better in third person. Look at that. Start flailing your legs. Whee! All right, boats. Boats have had some changes done. Let's go and check that out. So not only do boats now have oars, but um, you can bring along uh, friendly squid passengers if you want to do that for, for whatever reason. I kind of didn't have a choice here. He just kind of jumped in. So the controls for boats completely changed now. The way it works is you have two oars. So you actually use the A and D keys in order to control the thing. And it operates similarly to an actual boat with oars. So if you want to just go forward, you hold down A and D simultaneously, just hold them down. You'll start paddling uh, full steam ahead, which is actually a lot slower now than it used to be. Maybe they'll tweak the values of that. But then if you want to turn, rather than looking, like my look is actually independent from my direction now, if I want to turn, say, to the left, I actually only hold down the D key, and then I'm going to start pivoting left. If I want to pivot to the right, I actually hold down the A key. So it's opposite, as it actually would be in, in a boat. Um, so again, A key corresponds to the left oar, D key corresponds to the right oar, and so you have to sort of slow down if you want to turn, and then you have to keep in mind it's sort of inverted. You hold left to go right, right to go left, etc. cetera. Um, and of course we have our little squid friend here, which I just, I paddled over a squid and he just jumped on board. Um, partially on board, partially still in the water. Um, I don't know what his deal is, but. <laughs> 
So that's how it works. Now, along with that, there's actually been a, a, a change to the crafting recipe accordingly, which is you now need a shovel in order to complete the boat crafting recipe. So still the same with the U, then throw a shovel in the middle, and now you've got a boat. You actually have different kinds of boats now corresponding to different colors of wood. So you've got your oak, your spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, and dark oak wood. And you get a bunch of different varieties, so fancy, so whatever suits your fancy. Maybe if we want an orange boat, then we got an orange boat, and we can paddle away. And hold on, pivot, pivot. That actually makes it a little bit easier not to break your boat there, and then you can try running over a squid. I wonder if we can run over this, hey, hey, you wanna ride? You wanna catch a ride? You wanna catch a ride? Come on! No, not interested. I have no idea how I got that other squid in the boat. He just kinda, just kinda jumped on in. Come on, you, you want to be part of my boat? You don't, you don't, okay. He's not a fan of the orange color. I see how it is. You're really picky about your style. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, there we go. Hey, we got another squid passenger. Fantastic. Um, cool. Well, I think that's about going to do it for this snapshot. So pretty cool stuff. I'm hoping that the maybe the speed of the boat will be increased slightly, but we'll see. I guess maybe I need to, like, buff up my arms or something. I'm not a superhuman rower yet. So, hey, get out of the way, man. All right, well, that's what we're going to do it. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be super duper. Very much appreciated. Maybe we could go for five and a half likes on this video or something like that. Pretty stellar stuff. And um, the forest is about to catch on fire, so that's great. If you've missed any other snapshots and want to go back and see them, check the playlist in the description. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.